Hello everyone, very good morning. Uh, <laughs> just thought uh, I'll record a special video. Uh, it's a very interesting concept which I wanted to record today. Uh, this is regarding the contrarian investing. You know, we all love being contrarian in our life because we always feel that something which is not working will work eventually and you want to take advantage of that. And in stock market, being contrarian plays over a longer time frame only when you are sensible enough to play that contrarian bet. So chemical sector, it is one sector I am seeing on Twitter and other places, a lot of posts about some kind of a recovery of moonshots getting visible in the chemical sector. Now let us try to understand whether it's worth our attention or not. First of all, let's try to do a fundamental analysis of the chemical sector. So when I go into sector analysis, and I try to locate chemical sector here. Actually, like what I can do is rather than doing that, sorry about that, I can go to sectors and I can search for chemical. Okay, and this is a chemical sector. Let's go to the entire chemical sector and uh, let's look at the results of the chemical sector. So, if you see the trend of the result of chemical sector, it's negative on quarter to quarter basis right so this is your QOQ that means previous quarter so this is December quarter so QOQ which is the previous quarter the trend is negative and also year on year so the same quarter of last year which is December uh, 22 same quarter of last year the trend is negative so overall chemical sector fundamentally it is in downtrend all right and if you look at the EBITDA, it is also in downtrend. And if you look at the PAT, it is also in downtrend. The reason being, there is a margin pressure. And the margin pressure is clearly coming out of uh, China. Uh, the way uh, China has started recovering and they have started uh, giving competition to India yet again. There is a structural advantage which India had earlier because of China. Now that advantage probably is looking like it is fading away. However, However, it could be a temporary thing, okay? The advantage could have been temporary or the fall also which we are witnessing right now could be temporary. Having said that, this is a perfect reason to think like a contrarian because if anything is going down, you think like a contrarian that may go up. If anything is going up, you think like a contrarian that may go down, alright? So, are we witnessing any moonshot in the chemical sector, okay? Now, there are two ways to judge this number one fundamentally now fundamentally we will only be able to know when we witness the december when we witness the latest quarter result which is march end. and the result will come in the month of probably april end. so should we wait till that time if you are a fundamental investor you obviously would like to wait for at least one quarter of recovery before you can start believing that it will recover fully Having said that, you know, people are way smarter than us. People go to factories, people track activities like logistics and they try to preempt what will happen to that business. So maybe some people are believing that there is a moonshot here and they may like to take a contrary in that. Now, technical analysis as a science has the capability to show you if there is anything unique happening. Now, before I go into technicals, let me show you the market breadth. A breadth of a sector is a very interesting data. It talks about whether the breadth or the overall breadth of a sector is improving or not. Like if you look at the date wise, there is slight improvement in the breadth. Slight. I mean from the worst breadth which was on 13th of March. As on 18th of March, there is a slight improvement in the breadth of this particular sector. The breadth has also been negative for many days. Since, uh, you know, in the early Feb, uh, the breadth was okay. But since then, the breadth has been negative. If I look at the industry-wide breadth, inside the chemical sector, dyes and pigment has a decent breadth, pesticides and agrochemical has a decent breadth, and chemicals overall has a decent breadth. And other, other uh, industries doesn't have great breadth for us to pay attention. Having said that, you know, a breadth layer to the extent of zero also signifies a contrarian breadth, okay? But let's not be contrarian here. Let's try to find the moonshot. So chemicals, pesticide and dye and pigments could be the segment where there is some kind of a moonshot available. Okay. Now let's go into pesticides and agro. So you see there is a 
green orientation that means there is definitely something here which should excite us okay now let's see deliveries do we see deliveries in last 10 15 days we see yes there is some bit of delivery happening and i don't know whether delivery is on the sell side on the buy side but there is some bit of delivery happening and if i look at the stock wise delivery so in last two three days deliveries have not been so great but in maybe five six days ago delivery has been there okay now this is basically to give me a very 10,000 feet view about a sector that whether this is of interest to me or not now i'll go to technicals and i will go to this beautiful output which gives me an easy technical analysis you know need not be expert in technicals to do this any stock which is trading above all the major moving averages would be of interest to us isn't it so pi industries yes uh bsf yes rallies yes so you know till the stock is trading above at least two of its moving average right i should not get very excited okay so in overall scheme of things i see only pi industries and bsf and rallies actually showing some kind of strength in this segment okay now let's go to pi industries let's go inside pi industries i look at the chart wow this is interesting you see rs is above zero rsi is above 50 and even the price trend is clearly suggested that the stock has given its previous breakout so if at all i have to play the chemical basket i'll look at pi industries okay because it is showing me momentum similarly let's go to basf see here also rs is greater than zero rsi is greater than 50 and it has given breakout from previous swing high this is also interesting okay now let's stop this industry and let's go into dyes and pigment and again let's see the delivery data some delivery has happened in last 10 15 days yes if you look at the stock wise delivery again last two days nothing much has happened but initially there was delivery which happened and if i look at the technicals let's go to moving average wow sudarshan chemical with the speciality all these stocks which are trading near its high end of the moving averages okay that means it is trading above all the major moving averages should be of interest to us because maybe something is happening in these stocks which we are probably not aware fundamentally which we will get aware probably at the in the month of april but at least as a first principle theory if at all we have to participate in chemical sector because probably we are convinced with this sector now we will only look at these stocks because these stocks are showing some sign of momentum i hope this concept is clear and well, i'll be happy to teach you more i mean my youtube channel has everything what you want to understand momentum investing but this is a very powerful function of stockage as well where you can do a 360 degree research of any sector any stock and try to make a judgment like this is very exciting pedal solar industries srl chemical tata chemical they are very very exciting let's look at tata chemical it looks quite interesting look at the chart oh wow look at this chart so 50 crossed 200 which is very good sign that day it came back down now the stock is trading around zero rs and rsi is above 50 so this is very interesting and this is a you know have a pattern so this if the stock starts trading above this level which is 1145 i think i'll be buying the stock because there is something exciting which looks like is getting uh, emerged in this particular stock you know all we need to do is just analyze these stocks and if you like any stocks make it one of your favorite stocks add it in a watch list and track them for some time don't be in a hurry to buy track for some time maybe start with a small quantity get convinced and then get full fledged inside the stock because being contrarian is good 
बट माई ओनली हम्बल सबमिशन इज दैट कॉन्ट्रीडियन विथ मोमेंटम रियली लीड्स टू वेल्थ क्रिएशन फ्रॉम स्टॉक मार्केट आई होप इट वॉज गुड एक्सरसाइज आई रियली इंजॉयड इट अर्ली मॉर्निंग इट्स ऑलवेज गुड टू टॉक टू यू आई होप यू यू आर यूजिंग स्टॉकेज द वे इट शुड बी यूज टू द फुल पोटेंशियल थैंक यू सी एसून बाय